Hey guys, it's Dave and Monica, and today is day 19 of the Ultimate Reset Cleanse. And this is my little cleanse bracelet. And um, the last video we filmed was day 14, the end of phase two. And so today we're just in the home stretch, really. And we just got back from Phoenix, uh, which was a little bit of a challenge while we were on the road, but not too bad. I'm sure Monica will talk about that. If not, I will later. Uh, but what I really want to talk about is water. Uh, because it was really hot out there, and so I was drinking a lot of water. And one of the things I keep talking about during my videos is how much more water I've been drinking and how much more aware I am of my body's need for water as that becomes sort of the primary thing you take in. We're having a little bit of hot tea, and aside from that, it's pretty much water. So the minimum amount of water you should be taking in is half of your body weight in ounces. So for me, I'm 163 pounds, so that's about you know 80 uh, ounces of water per day, and this is 16 ounces of water. This is a pretty large cup, as you can see. It's not quite full, but it's about five of these a day is really the minimum amount of water uh, that I should be drinking, and I know that <laughs> that I have not been drinking that much water until we really started this cleanse, and so I have to say I'm getting thirsty. Uh, <laughs> so I have to say, one of the really cool things for me has been an opportunity to just drink water and get in touch with um, how much water I really need to drink and what my body is needing, and it's really sort of telling me that. So how about you, what are, you, what are your thoughts? Um, as challenging as it was to, cha to travel on the Ultimate Reset, I felt like it elimin eliminated a lot of stress because number one, we're very committed to finishing these 21 days strong, so um, no cheats, like no, I mean, Temptations were everywhere, but it wasn't even an issue. We knew what we needed to grab. Um, we happened to be at a hotel that had a Trader Joe's right around the corner, and so we were able to go and get microgreen salad, sweet potatoes for a barbecue. I mean, it was perfect. Everyone had hamburgers, and we just threw two sweet potatoes on the grill. And I found a restaurant that had vegan, quite a few vegan meals as well. Right, so we were able to have miso soup, whatever it was that we needed to have we were able to have those things without feeling deprived. I mean, I think that is the most important thing that I've noticed is that I haven't felt deprived or starved or, or like I'm missing out. I mean, the food that we're eating is nourishing, it's delicious, and so it's really just a matter of choice. I know I've heard that a lot in my life, um, but it's <laughs> nice to actually take these 21 days um, to kind of, to reset. I mean, that is truly the whole purpose of it, is to reset and understand that there's a lot of hearty food out there that is, um, ha serves great purposes. I, I was just reading this article on skinny food, which is a super nice word for girls. <laughs> And pretty much every single thing, can you see anything on there that wasn't on the cleanse? Everything. Every single I, I, thing they well, identified. Eggs, although we had eggs early. No, 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 but it is on the cleanse. Yeah. So everything they identified, which is apples, edamame, eggs, kiwi fruit, lentils, olive oil, quinoa, sweet potatoes, yogurt, and wild salmon, which was our very first dinner. Yeah. Um, is listed here and the thing that I wanted to read to you was that um, sweet potatoes up the, pro the production of compounds that signal your brain to stop eating. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like those. We need to stop eating and eating so much and also just having come back from my mission and, and, and really like having two days to process taking this on. Um, I felt like, you know, in Ecuador, those people don't have a choice. When there's no food on the table, it isn't because they're doing a cleanse. It's because that's their, their economic circumstances. And so I was blessed to be able to be in a small group of five women, all of us who went to Ecuador. So every time we would find ourselves getting frustrated, we were able to relate it back to those people and to be thinking about them and keeping them close to us through this process. Um, I highly recommend if you are going to do this cleanse uh, to take two approaches. One is to find a group to join or 
And we have one. Yeah, so like ask your coach, definitely, if you buy the cleanse and, and um, your co ask your coach to see if they can find you a group to join into. It doesn't matter if you're a week off or, you know, try to get as close to your start date, of course, as possible. But if you, you cannot imagine how grateful you will be to have that support, to have those particular people that you're communicating with in that small group yeah. um, there with you every step, every meal every single question and uh, we definitely got re really raw and open in our group especially the group of girls um, and at, we communicated everything that we were thinking and feeling and wondering and would seek out information and answers. Can I jump in on that really quick and then I want you to get your second point. The, the support group that we put together, the other thing really great about it was people were experiencing similar things, maybe not on the same day, but they were experiencing similar things. So maybe you gained a pound or two or three or four, uh, or you know you couldn't sleep, or then you had a great night of sleep, or night, one night of nightmares, the next day you felt phenomenal. You know, everybody's going through all this stuff. And so having a support group, I think, just sort of makes it all okay. You know, you kind of go, okay, I'm not freaking out here, I'm not gonna die. Uh, this is just all part of the process. and. So, you know, if you do have a coach, get with your coach, get them in a, help them get you in a support group. If you're not working with a coach, we can help you with that. Um, and, you know, we can make sure they get you in a group that is gonna have sort of that same experience. Cause I, I know it really, really helped me to just have people who are all kind of going through the same thing. Um, what was the second point you were gonna get to though? I'm the sorry. second point I was gonna challenge you. If this sounds intriguing to you, I, I highly recommend it. I mean, Dave and I really have two and a half days left to go. It has been, <laughs> it's really been transformational for us. So I would challenge you to jump outside of your comfort zone and start a reset challenge group. You know, you do not have to be a beach body coach. We can handle all that for you, but we can help you. We can help get your group together. We can facilitate the process. We can even lead any questions that you have. But I challenge you, you know, when I started my first beach body program, that's what I did. I went out and my two best friends and, and you and I, I had my challenge group ready to go and we started our beach body program and that was in 2003. Yeah. Speaking of challenges, uh, one of the things I'm really excited about today, I just sort of, you know, getting back to, again, we've been in Phoenix all weekend and, you know, now we're back and I'm sitting down on my computer and got all caught up on my work and I started to look at my week and I realized this thing ends Wednesday, uh, which is also Monica's birthday, so happy almost birthday. Yay! Um, and then, you know, Thursday, it's kind of the page turns over on a new chapter and started to think about, you know, what, and we started talking about this in our group as well about, you know, what's sort of going to stick with you, what things are you going to keep, what are you going to change, what's going to be different. One of the things I'm really excited about is getting back to exercise. Um, <clears throat> I'm really, I'm really pretty fired up. I went online and, you know, ordered some of the sort of weightlifting supplements that I normally take uh, when I'm doing something like P90X, which is what we're going to start on Thursday. Uh, so I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really fired up for it. Maybe more than I've been for anything for a while. It's been a long time since I've taken a break this long uh, to just not do any strength training, really. I mean, the, the minimal exercise that I've gotten has just been from surfing a few times and then things like walking. Um, so my body feels really fresh. Uh, I mean, I was really sore in the car as a six and a half hour drive uh, last night. I was kind of getting tight, but I woke up this morning and I felt great. I mean, I, and again, didn't get a lot of sleep, but my body just feels really, really good right now. And I feel like I'm really in a good place to start something like that. So super excited about that. And anything else for the last two days? No, just stay tuned till we address our final summary. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks a so bunch. Thank you.